Great. Now that we've covered the service level management process, which is one of the most vital processes in the service design stage, let's move on to the next process, which is capacity management. All right, so if you're asking yourself, what is capacity management? Let's answer that question. Capacity management helps produce and maintain an appropriate and up-to-date capacity plan based on business capacity, service, and component capacity management sub-processes. All right, so now that we know what capacity management does, let's discuss its purpose, objectives, and scope. The purpose of capacity management process is to ensure that the capacity, IT services, and IT infrastructure meets the agreed capacity and performance-related requirements in a cost-effective and timely manner. The objectives are to produce and maintain an appropriate and up-to-date capacity plan, to provide advice and guidance to all other areas of the business and IT on all capacity and performance-related issues, and to assess the impact of all changes on the capacity plan. Capacity management considers all resources required to deliver the IT service and plans for short, medium, and long-term business requirements. The capacity management process should include monitoring patterns of business activity through performance, utilization, and throughput of IT services, influencing demand in conjunction with financial management for IT services and demand management processes, and it will add value by not wasting existing IT resources and making the best use of those resources required to deliver the IT service while keeping in mind the short, medium, and long-term business requirements. All right, we've discussed the purpose, objective, scope, and value of capacity management, so let's turn now to the capacity plan, which contains information on the current usage of services and components and plans for the development of IT capacity to meet the growing needs of both existing services and any agreed new services. Capacity management relies on three sub-processes, which you can see here. The first process is business capacity management. In this sub-process, the most important purpose is to see whether the business has the financial capacity to carry out an activity or not. The second is service capacity management, which considers whether or not the service provider has the operational capacity to carry out an activity. The third and final sub-process is component capacity management, which looks at the capacity requirements related to all hardware, software, and even people. 